Hey, 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 DJ Mikey Mike with Direct Sound, and we're doing it from scratch today. We got Chave Show Express here that we're working with. Uh, this is going to be our next video in line. Uh, you guys have left some great comments on the in the comment section. Make sure you subscribe to the uh, subscription area right there, so if you'd like to see more. Also, leave some comments down below. Uh, it's very helpful. Um, so we've got some great comments, like I said before. Um, trying to do as many videos as I can here. It takes a lot of time to get these videos up, but uh, we'll see what we can get them for you. Okay, so uh, once again, my name is Mike with Direct Sound, and we've got you uh, covered with uh, Show Express. Uh, this is going to work on the live page and the 3D viewer, and uh, we're going to create a scene today, and uh, hopefully it all works out for us. Okay? Hey, hey, DJ Mikey so, Mike, and we're doing it from scratch today. Hey, we got uh, Show Express from Cheve, and this is going to be part two. Um, actually, it's going to be the third video, but this is going to be part two of Show Express. Okay, we did the uh, fixture builder. Uh, we learned how to do fixtures last time. And now we're going to go to the builder screen, which is right here. So once you're in the builder screen, all your fixtures that you loaded in the first page will be loaded on your uh, desktop. So what you want to do is you want to click on, <clears throat> if you're running live DMX with uh, your fixtures already hooked up, you can hit DMX. But uh, right now I'm just going to use the 3D mode because my fixtures are out in the, uh, in the trailer. So I'm going to hit 3D screen and that's going to bring up the 3D viewer. Now I've already loaded my 3D viewer with my fixtures. Notice I put a truss, I put a truss up and if you can see barely I have some color strips, I've made some revos, some moving heads, and I have my park ends on the back as up lighting. And here's a couple speakers and a stage. Uh, it's pretty easy to do to set up your stage. Just right click on your stage, go to stage settings, and then you can set the width and parameters of your stage. That's pretty easy. Uh, object settings, and here's your objects. You just click through the objects. So if I wanted to add something to my stage here, say I wanted to add uh, some new truss, some circular truss, like a little curve here, I just uh, click the little arrows here there off to the side. It's hidden. There it is. Okay, there's my circular truss I just added. And you can take that truss and move it around depending on your orientation. So if I had my orientation here, I can move it depending on what the orientation is. So, uh, say I didn't like that piece of truss or any of the equipment that I had there. And just by clicking on the screen here and dragging with your mouse, you can move it around. Uh, if I didn't like that uh, piece of truss, I just select the truss. So I went to back to circle, square, truss, and hit the little scissors to cut them out. And now it disappears. So basically, you set up your whole stage that way. There's different backgrounds for like the curtains, carpet, different floor materials. I put a couple plants there. You can make them different sizes. Uh, just depends on what you want to do. So uh, that's how you set up your 3D viewer for when you get your lights already already there. Okay, so like I said before, I'm going to hit a quick key and I'm going to hit M for moving heads and it highlighted my moving heads as you see the purple line behind them. So everything I do to one will do to the other. So to get your lights to work, I went to uh, where it says on off on my lights, I'd right click on there and it gives you a parameters of what you want to do. Okay, so they're already preset. So I want lamp on and I'm going to go to my dimmer. Okay, and there's no, there's nothing there because it's 0 to 255. So I just slide the slider up for that. And then my next one is the shutter and I want that to be open. And now my lights will turn on. Okay, so my lights are on on both moving heads because I have them both selected at this time. So if I'd like to change the color, I go to my color. If I right click on the color, it'll give me a pre-selected drop down or I can just slide the slider up and it'll go through a range of colors. So depending on what you want to do there. Okay, so let's go to the right click and we're going to go to blue. So now both of my moving heads are blue. So. I would say if I want to save this as a step in my, this is how easy this is, if I want to save this as my first step in my scene just because I want to use my moving heads. So I'm going to write in, in the scene area where it says scene area. I'm going to type in the new scene which is going to be moving heads. So I'm going to say 
uh, MH for moving head uh, 0, 1 for my moving head 0, 1 scene. Or I could call it blue B. Moving head 1, blue. Okay. So my first step is straight up and down. So I want to add, well, first I hit save. Okay, so that's going to create the scene, which is MH 0, 1, blue. Now I go into the step area. Notice step 1 is 1 second long. And uh, this is the first step. So if I want to add a step, or if I want to make this step longer, I can just add uh, seconds in here. So I'm going to say it's going to be five seconds. So I added a five to the step area. And now I'm going to insert, adding this two little side arrow says add a step. I'm going to click there. So now we're at step two. So from one to two, if I don't do here, step two would be the same position. But I want to move that. So I'm going to go to my XY pattern. I'm going to move them to the down position. So step one was up. Step two now is down. So I have to add a step to take that effect. So I add a step. Now we're at step three. Step three, let's go side to side. Let's go to my Let's go step three is there, and we're still at a five second duration. It'll stay at the same time um, unless you change it. Okay, so we're gonna add a step. Now we're at step four, and let's go to the other side. Let's go all the way around the back to the other side. Okay, and then step five will continue the loop around to the other side. So we have a 25 second scene here or 25 second show okay and when you're done creating your steps just hit save now if you wanted to add different colors or different things like that in between your steps you just change your colors uh, according to whatever your parameters are if you want to gobo rotate or you want a different gobos just change them uh, during your steps but this is a basic uh, step that process that I'm going to show you okay so now you have in the scene area you have moving head 0 1 blue and all you have to do is hit that play pattern and it will do what we just did. And you notice how they're snapping from up down to sideways and they're not doing, going in a smooth transition. And I'll show you where that is here in just a second. Okay, and now it should snap to the next position. Okay, so let's hit stop on our scene area. Now we can also step through these processes in the step area by the side arrow. So we're at step one right here. Go to hit the side arrow and it's step two, three, four, and five. So that's how that's working. If I wanted to delete step five, all I have to do is be in step five and hit the X. That'll delete step five. It says you really want to delete it. I say yes and step five is deleted. Okay, at any time, say I wanted to change that, all of a sudden I, I needed step five to be red. All I do is right click on the red. Now step five is red, hit save. And now when I go through my scenes, one, two, three, four, and five is, or four, because I deleted step five, four is now red. So it's that simple to change your program on the fly. It's super easy, okay? And now this, this particular scene is saved and it will be available in the live screen if you load it. Okay, so that's how easy it is to create a scene. We just created a whole scene, uh, moving head 01 blue in 1.2 seconds. Okay, pretty darn easy. Now remember what I told you about the hotkeys. I used M, if you see a little M right here, uh, right under the moving head, it has a a letter and that's for moving head that is how I select my moving heads now if I want to just select one moving head I have to deselect it by hitting M again and then just click um, then I just slide the sliders that I want I don't there's no way to just highlight the the header so you just move the slider that you want so now if I'm just moving this slider only one moving head will will move okay so if I wanted that one to be white and then I just change that to white and I can add a step okay and if I just save this right here now it'll be let's go through step four we'll have one red one white so one two three four there you go